Today I want to take you through a JavaScript equality tutorial. Basically I'll be showing you what the double equals and triple equals does um, and what sort of different results you can expect if you use the different operators. In general I try to use the triple equals um, purely because um, that will compare the type and the value. But if you don't care about the type, you can use the double equals. Um, and this, I've actually found this cool table on JavaScript equality, which shows you what values equate to each other if you're using the double equals. So true obviously equates to true, but actually the number one also equates to true, as does the um, string one. So basically how this works is um, that you, it does a conversion and compares the values after the conversion and if they're equivalent then it will say that they're equal, otherwise it won't. Whereas the triple equals does a type and value um equality check so it's a little bit more strict and so sometimes if you use double equals you might get some unexpected results you need to be a bit careful there but yeah check out this table it's really good to know what's going to happen in different scenarios and get an idea of what's going on so now I'm going to take you back to my code pen and show you a little bit about what I've written here uh, I'll make it available in the description so you can have your own play around and sort of see what happens in different scenarios. So first up, I have a string which is the number one and, an, and a number that is the number one. Um, so if I compare these with the double equal, um, it will output that one is equal to one string and that's because it does the type conversion that I mentioned previously and compares the values and because the values are the same it says they're equal and this if statement is entered. So this one I've actually used the triple equals but it could have also been the not equal, not equal equals. Basically the reason I've used these triple equals and negators just for beginners just so you can see the triple equals in action um, but basically when you use the triple equals it's not equal and that's why I've got this not here and so it will enter the um, if statement because of this not here and output this one is not equal equal to one string so yeah, basically not equal equal is the shorthand of this statement here. So here I'm just showing you um, what happens with a false value. So I've just got a boolean here and if not my falsy value, then it will enter this if statement and console log this. So we can see it down here in the console. And now I'm showing you that a null object is also considered false. So basically, if not null object, then it will output that null object is false because that's a falsy value. Um, and once again, I'm showing the same thing, but with an undefined object, which once again is a falsy value. So it enters the if statement and outputs undefined object is false. So now this is showing that um, when you have a zero integer that is considered a false value. So if not false int then it'll log that that's false because um, it will enter the if statement because zero is a false value. So you can sort of see this in the table We've got false and what's equivalent to false? Well, you can see false, zero, zero is a string, empty string, empty array. So now, now here I am showing you um, what happens when I compare a false int and a false boolean. So 
basically because the the it's two false values and it does the conversion it will output this false and equal equal false bool and you can see that below but there's something interesting to note here even though you can see that this when you don't have an undefined or when you have an undefined or null um, variable it is considered false on its own if you actually do the comparison to um, a false um, boolean then it actually doesn't come out as false so false boolean is not equal to undefined object and false boolean is not equal to null object so it's just a bit of a quirk in the way that javascript works so it's really um, important to sort of know that that's sort of something that happens it's um so they're sort of false on their own but not when compared to false values so here i've got a true int which is one and so it'll enter this and log that the true int is one I mean, true int is true because because of the um, value I'll enter this if statement and output that value. Um, we've also got an empty object, so because it's not undefined, it will enter here and output that the object is true because it's got a value. Another thing that's useful to know is that undefined is equal equal to null, and so they're equivalent if you use the double equals, but if you used Triple equals, they're not equivalent. So if I go undefined is not equal to equal to null, then it will output the um, output into this if statement output that undefined is not equal equal to null. And that's just because those two values, are, um, they've got the same value, but they're not um, equivalent, like they're type and um, value or not equivalent and you can sort of see that in this table here whereas if I go to equal equal you can see that they're not equivalent you can sort of just see that it's really quite strict and a little bit more regulated so that's why I tend to use triple equals wherever I can and just use equal equals if it's relevant for some reason I mean JavaScript is a loosely, um, it's not a strongly typed language, so it does make sense in some cases to make use of the language features and not um, use the triple equals, but yeah, I use the double equals sparingly just because I like to be pretty certain in how my um, JavaScript code is going to function. I'm a little bit less certain when I use the double equals. Just there's a few things that can pop up from time to time. So I hope that helped. And if you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe for more content. Um, once again, the code pen will be in the description and the JavaScript comparison table that I found. See you guys again soon.